All right, good morning guys. It is another day, another adventure. And today we are gonna be ripping out some shrubs. Got the Gravely Garb today. Uh, don't give me crap for all my Gravely stuff and all my other brands, guys. Uh, if they wanna send it to them, this is how I don't have to do laundry. So, hey, what are we doing right now? Ripping out trees, some it's spruces. My, it's my landscape ninja. This guy's awesome. So, um, so this was actually an interesting one. Um, with this customer, we actually hit his uh, air conditioning power cable that was going to his air conditioner, and he's like, "Hey, I need some shrubs ripped out anyway. Do you want to trade?" <clears throat> After consulting Brandon, he was like, "That's not an even trade." He goes, "It's going to be this much dollar amount." And uh, this guy here was like, "Yeah, go ahead and do it." So we're going to rip this out, and we got this other one we're going to rip out. Should be pretty straightforward. Yep. Um, you wanted to try to pull them out by hand first. Yeah, yeah, just because uh, the trunk of them, they're not, it's nothing crazy. Right. So we were gonna use the truck and pull it out with the toe strap. Yeah. Because we didn't have any chains. Yep. But we're gonna see if we can get it out by hand instead of coming over here and hooking the trailer and all that fun stuff. Save some time. Sun's out, guns out, man. Let's, <laughs> let's see what we can do. Welcome Obviously, I've been hitting the gym. I don't know about Brandon, you know what I mean? So if we got a weak link, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> By the way, it's like 8 in the morning, guys, so I'm a little uh, tired. Still waking up. Alright, so now we got the roots exposed. We got Brandon here. I don't mess around. <laughs> it's always good to partner, man. All right, what do we got here? That's something crazy. All right, so we got the X. And then this is what we're using, guys. Echo sent this to us a little while ago. This is the 58 volt system. Pretty sweet. Hey, you've used this a little bit. How do you like it so far? It's awesome. So I far, like so it. Good? Yeah. These battery chainsaws are legit. Yeah, it's good for little stuff like this. Yeah, I mean, for, sure. for like cutting down a big tree, I wouldn't do it. No, no, no. But um, you want like for the steel, little stuff, yeah, it's perfect. Dude, little uh, battery, 58 volt system. I'm uh, hoping Milwaukee sends me theirs because that'll be a really cool one to test. You used that Dewalt one with me back yeah. when we worked with Craig, mm -hmm. and uh, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's what I like about these is like you can just hurry up and trim something real quick, and yep. then you don't have to like start something back up. Yeah, you know? yeah, you're, you just you're go there and push and a button, you're good to go. Right. I think good to go is the most officially overused saying for landscapers in 2018. <laughs> good to go. I will. Good to go. Yeah, let's pull it like this way. You know what I mean? Cool. Don't last away. Good. I think that's it. All right, let's see what we got here. No. What shrub is this again? Uh, dwarf Alberta. Spruce. Dwarf Alberta spruce. Dwarf Alberta spruce. Look at this guy, man. He knows his name. What's that in Latin? Dwarf <laughs> <laughs> da 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 Little Christmas tree. All right. So after making a suggestion to Brandon, I said, "Why don't we just load it in the trailer and just go pitch it?" He goes, "That's probably not a bad idea because it's actually not that heavy." So we're just gonna grab the wheel barrel and make it a lot easier. Looking good. Huh. So looking good. How these been holding up for you? Good. Yeah. Yeah, one of the few few of these bolts came loose one day, but yeah, it's used. So what are you gonna do? Cry and what on yourself? Good. Okay. Over here. Make sure it's complete. Probably not. Just see. Hold on. You want to grab that end? Do you want me to put this in? I'll just so you can put this thing right in. Okay, you want to grab that end? Sweet. 
tell the wife you got a new Christmas tree. I already got my Christmas tree, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get mine now. Uh... You're gonna go get yours. <laughs> we get two. You just dump it or you need a hand? Clean up the dog site. Yes, sir. Nice, man. And that's why we brought uh, the strap and did it by hand. Just yeah. Because the root system on these can be pretty nasty. Yeah. Have we seen this downspout here? Yeah, well, that could just rip right out. So we didn't want to bring the truck in and just yank things out and, you know, damage something and sure. cost more money. You know? uh, yeah, so I, I like solving problems with uh, with muscle, but, you know, you got to take your time. Yeah. Do a job, do a job you right. Do it right. Yeah. Not create any more issues for the customer. Right. Nasty. Nice job. That was actually not too bad. That was, was pretty easy. The whole pack is like diseased and dead on these things. Right. So that's why you wanted to rip, rip out. Well, and it's backed up here against this. You know, it's right up against it. Sure. No. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's this guy? Christmas tree. What do you got here? My um, Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> you know, if I <clears throat> cut them both right in half, I can make a whole one. Good. You know? <laughs> yeah, put put this back to the other back, yeah. you know? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. That? Sweet. That's it. Nice that was job, man. some cleanup and that took us what half hour yeah half hour so dude maybe just a little pro tip for these guys so <clears throat> when i first thought uh, i was talking to you i was like yeah it's probably like a, a an xyz job only right. a certain amount of dollar and you're like dude try to triple that yeah why is that well you were like oh like 175 or 200 bucks you know whatever yeah but um like me i was like yeah four and a quarter and you're like what i said yeah like yeah because you don't know what you're getting into you could see what's up top but you don't know what's underneath sure. you know it could have a nasty root system and you're here for five hours you right. know you never know and that's the difference between thankfully this wasn't too bad we were here a half hour and we made out and he made out you know he got his ugly trees removed and right we're on our way and i always tell customers like hey if it takes us less time i'll, I'll cut you you know a better deal yep. but at the same like i always try to give them like that estimate range you know when you do jobs like this but um yeah that's the difference between long care landscapers and i'm not a landscaper not yet so um i respect what everybody does that is a landscaper so i'm still learning my prices and all that stuff so um that's why you have good friends and people that you can network with that teach you how to do this and show you the ropes
that wraps that. If you guys enjoyed it, shoot a big thumbs up. Big shout out, thank you to Brandon. Nice job, brother. What? <laughs> Said nice job, thank you, sir. Anytime. You always uh, always bailing me out, you and Bedell. You're but, all right. Well, that's what we gotta do as partners. You know what I mean? My Teamwork. Man. Absolutely. I, uh, I haven't made one uh, comment on this video yet saying, ooh, look how good this guy looks. One guy was flaming me on the uh, last video. He's like, you don't make a, a video with Bran without telling him how good he looks. So, Oh, <laughs> looks funny. Good. I've seen, uh, I, I forget which video. Oh, it was the, the tall grass one with the yeah. uh, turf tiger and the X mark. Yeah. I seen one of the comments and there you go. I was like, thanks, Brandon, for recording. <laughs> <laughs> they just know. <laughs> Somebody's got to hold the camera, right, guys? So look at the, uh, the amigos, dude. So, all right, are you good? We're out. I'm ready. All right, guys, over and out. We'll see you. Take it see easy. You guys. All right, bye bye.